What is up everyone and welcome to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. As you all may have seen on the internet recently, the games are apparently going to be leaking soon and I've been fortunate enough to get access to this early demo, which looks suspiciously like Pokemon Sword and Shield. But obviously it's not Pokemon Sword and Shield because behind me you can see Fue Coco, the fire type starter from Generation 9. And if you didn't notice, my character is clearly wearing a school uniform. Maybe not the right school, but you know. If you haven't caught on by now, I'm obviously joking, as this is in fact Pokemon Sword and Shield, but thanks to the wonderful world of modding, we can get a little preview of some of the Pokemon that will appear in Scarlet and Violet. So if you guys are excited, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already to stay tuned for my full playthrough of the official Pokemon Scarlet and Violet game starting November 18th when the games release. And already you might notice some new Pokemon lurking here in the grass. Is that what I think it is? She sure is freaking slow to come out. Okay, fine. I guess I'll go to you. It's time for some ham because Lechonk has appeared. <laughs> Probably my favorite Pokemon revealed so far just because of the absolute meme that it is like in terms of looks and also the fact they really showed off that you can make sandwiches. Oh my god. We're the one that's about to get sandwiched under this head smash. <laughs> I've actually given all of the Pokemon moves that I think they'll actually end up getting in the games. Some of which might be hints to the types that they will evolve into. So if you pay attention throughout this video, you might catch on to that. But at least for Lechonk here, as I was saying, is going to be a normal type. Which on the Pokemon site, they talk about the fact that it's... Even though it looks kind of fat, its body is apparently made of pure muscle. So I gave it a lot of fighting type moves and apparently a berry too, which is also a small hint to its ability being gluttony, even though I think it actually dropped to the normal amount you usually eat the berry at. Because this is a modded version of the game, I've already got all the Pokemon caught and thankfully also a lot of repeat balls so we can easily catch this Lechonk. Into the party you go, little friend. Don't worry, I won't be slicing you into sandwiches anytime soon. Well, that's a lie. Uh, so, Scarlet and Violet come out in just a month, and then we'll definitely be making some Lechonk sandwiches. But we've also got a couple of other Pokemon here in the grass. One that's actually a lot easier for Fue Coco to handle, and that is Smolive, of course. The normal and grass type olive Pokemon which I'd like to imagine will evolve into a bottle of olive oil and be the first fire grass type. Obviously, that's going to be super effective. I hope it doesn't actually knock it out. Okay, small lip, just barely hanging on there. And going for the Giga Drain. Maybe not the most exciting grass move out there. Obviously, I can't do any new attacks, as I'm sure that these Pokemon will have. Since a trend I've noticed in Pokemon Sword and Shield and Legends Arceus is a lot of the new Pokemon end up having signature attacks that are exclusive to them. And I'm sure that most of the Pokemon, like the new ones in Gen 9, will also have signature attacks. Like maybe Smoliv has something to do with uh, the little bud on its head that apparently shoots oil out and slows Pokemon. Like it'll probably have something that uh, lowers your speed or maybe even paralyzes. But then again, that's basically Stun Spore. So critical capture. We'll finally get that in the ball. But of course, I've got more than just Fue Coco here on the team. We've also got Kuaxley and Sprigatito, the water and grass type starters respectively. And I'm going to go ahead and switch Sprigatito up first so we can take on the next Pokemon, which I believe I spotted a little bit down this way. Come on, buddy. You're a little bit slow. I mean, a little faster than Fue Coco, I suppose, but still could definitely be a lot faster. Oh, man, sure it is cute, though. Uh, but you might notice in the background there, we've got a Wiglet! Which definitely sounds like the good old-fashioned Diglet. That is because this mod, it's replacing it over a Lolan Diglet, but I've actually altered its typing to be pure water type, like the actual Wiglet. Doesn't matter, it looks like Wiglet and also acts like Wiglet because this thing is so freaking weird, man. Like, I still can't believe that this is going to be a real Pokemon. And it's not a regional form either, but it does have Hydro Pump. Sprigatito, brace yourself, buddy! Okay, that's actually not too bad, because we're Grass-type, of course. Uh, but I have given Sprigatito a Petal Dance, which is going to absolutely obliterate the Wiglet. Oh my gosh. 
I do like how it kind of twisted or wiggled as it died there. Very fitting. Yeah, I'm still a little bit confused about that whole convergent evolution thing, like the fact that it's not a regional form, but speaking of regional forms, you might notice there's actually what looks like a whooper here in the grass, but it's just your average whooper. Not exactly sure why that is, because when we encounter it, you'll see that it is actually a brown little whoopy. Also known as Paldean Whooper, of course, which is going to be a poison and ground type. Not really the greatest matchup for Spirigatito. I mean, I'm sure Petal Dance will still do a good amount of damage, but I don't want to knock it out. Or rather, I don't want to get locked into Petal Dance, which of course keeps attacking until you get confused. And you might have noticed there, Spirigatito's ability kicked in Magician, which steals the opponent's item, I believe. So now we have the Black Sludge on us, which is... Not good because, you know, uh, that only heals you if you're a poison type yourself. And yeah, that means that we're now going to be getting hurt doubly by the poison. So you know what, Whooper, that's enough from you, dude. I'm going to go for the pedal dance after all and just knock your butt out because uh, I don't like what you just did to me. But I suppose we did at least get to show off Sprigatito's ability, which is actually the one that Fennekin currently has. And it's a reference to a uh, leak slash rumor that apparently Spirigatito will evolve into some type of magician Pokemon. Oh my god, Ferrigiraffe is trying to run! No, get over here! Oh my... Well, can't catch them all, I suppose. That's alright, I'm sure there will be some plenty of other Pokemon to catch around, like uh, that guy over there, you might notice, is not a Pokemon we've seen revealed in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet just yet. Or at least not officially. But there are many rumors that Tauros will be getting a regional form, and this one here at least is of course the one that was confirmed to be a fake leak created by Doodlebeard on Instagram. But I decided to include it in this video because, like I said, it is pretty likely that Tauros will get an official regional variant in this generation. And this one here, I've actually made a dark and fighting type, which means Sprigatito is barely gonna survive! Thankfully we did though, because we got the Play Rough, which is actually four times super effective since it is dark and fighting, but I forgot that I had the Black Sludge, so uh, looks like we're gonna have to send out our boy Quaxly to finish things off here and show off his moveset and ability and all that good stuff. Well, maybe not exactly his ability, but we can at least go for Flying Press, which is normally an exclusive move to Halucha. But I decided to give it to Quaxly because it is rumored that this guy will actually become a water and fighting type and there's no better move for a flying fighting Pokemon than flying press, of course. When I say flying fighting, I don't mean literally it's typing, I mean like, you know, it flies because it's a duck, but it's gonna be fighting type, maybe? This is all rumors, of course. Uh, remains to be confirmed, of course. I would prefer if Quaxly became like a water and steel type with a pirate theme, as I discussed in my starter evolution speculation video, but whatever you end up being, little buddy, I will love you regardless. I went ahead and healed up little Quaxly, and it's time to take on Word Year. The frick are you doing here? Oh my god, no, I don't actually want to fight this guy. <laughs> Apparently, there are Hisuian forms in Scarlet and Violet, though, but I'm not sure if they're actually going to be in the base game or they're going to be exclusive to Pokemon Home. Oh, hey, this Hooper actually looks like it's Paldean form. Interesting how the other one did it. Maybe it's like a male and female thing that uh, makes the other gender look like regular Whooper. Oh, I totally forgot you have Water Absorb. Oh my gosh, this is not good. This Quaxley's not actually a flying type despite looking like a duck and sounding like a duck. Well, I'm sure it will in the official game. Here it sounds like Trico, which is actually the Pokemon that the mod is replacing, but... Yeah, there's a regular Whooper again, and you might have noticed another Pokemon to the north or forward, but first, I want to check what's shaking in this grass, because it's annoying me, and I gotta see that it is actually the Pineapple Oddish! That's right, the infamous leak that is probably not real, but it looks freaking hilarious. <laughs> so I decided to include it in this video as well, even though I don't think... Oddish is rumored to have a regional form. I would love to see this little pineapple, but it does make me wonder what type it would be. I mean, I know what this modded version is at least. I've actually made it a grass and fire type because I don't know what the frick a pineapple Oddish 
would be if it was actually in the game. Like, is it Grass Dragon, like Executor? Because I still don't know what makes this long neck Executor a dragon exactly, but it's a thing, so maybe this little Pineapple Oddish would also be a Grass and Dragon type. <laughs> But at least in this mod, like I mentioned, it is going to be Grass and Fire type, and we can actually check out its moves here. Sunny Day, Fiery Dance, Grassy Terrain, and Solar Beam. I'm sure that it would evolve into a magnificent Fire Dancing variant of Belossum. But more importantly over here, we've got an official new Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet that's actually going to be in the games, and that is Cyclizer, which I still don't know if it's going to end up being a pre-evolution of the Legendaries or not, I think... Most people are assuming that it is because of the whole motorcycle motif. But one thing's for sure, this dude is actually a normal and dragon type, which means that our flying press would be super effective if we didn't die to an outrage. That's unfortunate. This guy is really high level, actually. I um, don't even know who to really go for. I mean, we've got Lechonk with the reversal, so hopefully it can handle it. <laughs> I don't actually know how Reversal even works. I think it hits second, so if we can tank an Outrage, then we can come back with the big damage. Oh my god! Barely survived there, and Reversal is not quite gonna finish it. I just noticed we actually don't have a Cyclizer in the Pokedex, and I don't really have the best of balls to catch it either. So we'll go for my favorite type of ball, the Premier Ball. That's not really gonna work out because Cyclizer is actually over the model of Grovile, and starter Pokemon tend to have a pretty low catch rate, so yeah, that's not gonna work out like I said, but at least it does get confused. Come on, Spirigatito, it's time to get your revenge, because I highly doubt we're actually gonna catch this thing, so I'm just gonna hit him with a play rough, or maybe he'll hit himself in confusion. That would be nice. Of course not. Spirigatito's probably just dead in one hit, isn't it? Oh, okay. Good job surviving that. And the play rough will indeed finish it. I can't wait to find out if you actually will evolve into the legendaries or not, because that has to be the biggest mystery of Scarlet and Violet so far. And because Wake Coco has leveled up, that means it is actually going to be evolving into what? I don't know, because obviously it hasn't been revealed yet and I waited too long to press the B button so it's actually gonna evolve into <laughs> Gabite. Uh, let's just pretend we didn't see that because obviously it's not gonna be like that in the real game it's just that the Fuecoco model was on Gibble and over here we've got a couple more Hisuian forms you can see Braviary but also Growlithe over there in the grass oh my gosh don't actually want to fight you guys because uh We've had enough of you in Legends Arceus, but I did want to at least include some Hisuian forms since we know that at least Zoroark was in one of the trailers or screenshots or whatever. Over here though, we've got another chance to catch ourselves a Wiglet. Why the heck not? Even though it's maybe a little too big in this game at least, I can't even see your head buddy. Oh my god, the Hydro Bomb again! I really thought Wiglet was going to end up being water and ground type. I mean, it makes sense because it's still burrowing in the ground, like the little garden eel that it's based on. But nope, it's just pure water type and it actually has rattled as one of its abilities, which is going to get activated because I hit it with the dark move Night Slash there. So again, we get to show off the actual abilities that they're going to have in Scarlet and Violet. I might also get to show off catching it since apparently I already have one of these, the repeat ball, should work pretty nicely. And together we'll go take on one last Pokemon that I believe should be at the top of this hill. And you might recognize it as a new type of Eevee. Probably my most wanted new Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet is a new Eevee Lucian. And here in this mod, it is actually going to be the Steel type variant, Nighteon. There's a lot of different variations of Steel type Eevee, but the real question is, will we get a new Eevee Lucian? I don't think so, but if we did, what type would you like to see? Let me know in the comments below. As for me though, I think Dragon type would be pretty sick as a counter to Sylveon, which was the last new Eevee Lucian we got. But I feel like Sword and Shield was the perfect region to introduce it, so the fact that they did it means we're probably not getting it. Why did our dig just do absolutely nothing? 
Okay, that's interesting. Maybe I'll go for Hydro Pump instead. <laughs> I figure if it's a Steel type, it's gonna have really good physical defense and maybe physical attack, but maybe not the best special defenses, which is why the Hydro Pump at least does a little bit more, but still going for Blast Resort. Like, bro, I know I'm a Water type, but just go for a Steel move so we can at least see it. Oh, there we go. Metal Burst. And that, I think, works kind of like counter or mirror move, like it does damage back depending on how much you did, which Sucker Punch didn't really do much, so the Metal Burst not gonna hurt too bad, but hey, at least we saw it use a Steel move, and with the Repeat Ball, we will catch that too. Oh my goodness, Spinny Gatito's evolving? I kind of forgot what Pokemon this is even replacing, so we're not gonna let you do that, but uh, Quaxly, on the other hand, I will actually let evolve because it'll let us show off another one of the Pokemon that we couldn't catch, and that is Cyclizer! Don't ask me why the frick a duck just evolved into a lizard. <laughs> I already mentioned that Quaxly was replacing Trico, and Cyclizard is replacing Grovile, so yeah, it just so happened to work out that our starter evolves into uh, pseudo-legendary or potential pre-evolution. There's one final Pokemon in this mod, and it is going to be the Hisuian Arcanine, which we have just completely gone right through for some reason. What the frick? Wait, why are you not working properly? Oh my god, I'm pretty sure I'm like inside of... Arcanine, so I don't really know why we can't actually fight it. Fine, we'll go fight another Psych Lizard instead. Lizard on Lizard action. Now I want you guys to let me know in the comments below whether you think Psych Lizard will actually evolve into the legendaries or is it a standalone Pokemon? I think the most likely situation is it's just like Cosmog and Cosmoem from Pokemon Sun and Moon where it can evolve into either one depending on what version you're playing, but then again, the difference here is we've actually seen random people in the Paldea region have Cyclizard. So does that mean anyone can have a Legendary? Maybe, because obviously all of the player characters have multiples of them, so you never know. As we'll finish it off with an Air Slash, because it still has Quaxley's moveset, which makes absolutely no sense. The more we play of this, the more the cracks are showing, so that is where we will wrap up this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and smash that like button if you're excited for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, which is just one month away, November 18th. I cannot freaking wait. Subscribe if you haven't already, to stay tuned for my playthrough and any other news updates that might happen before then, and I'll catch you in the next video.